earthquake there, sorry people. <laughs> Hi there, sorry. I'm kind of discompopulated, combobulated. I'm Helen, also known as Orange Maid on Ravelry. Um, this is, well, it was the Sprightly Knitter. I kind of changed my name because I'm actually Sprite 966 everywhere, apart from on Ravelry. So it's basically just going to be the knitting blog or vlog of Sprite 966 or come knit with Sprite 966. How does that sound? Well, whatever. You can come knit with me or you can just sit and... I don't know. What would you do? What would you be doing if you were watching me? Sit and play them? Sit and having a laugh? Sitting in with a nice cuppa. Um, well, whatever you do, I just like to say hello and thank you for watching. Um, I've got a friend with me today. Um, I've knit, I knit her a while ago and she's been. I thought I'd done her on the podcast, but I only put out nine and then I kind of just kind of went flat with my knitting for a few months here. But anyway, this is Beth. This is Mum's, Mrs. Bakery Bear, by the lovely Kay Jones. And um, I've, I've not started mine yet. I've got the yarn wound. I have got the yarn wound, aye. Um, I've got the yarn wound for mine. And then I was thinking today I might just have to go and buy Mr. Bakery Bear. Because um, Kimmy, Kim, is such an enabler. How many she knit? Three, four, five, six, seven Mr. Bakery Bears. So I need to have a Mr. Bakery Bear. But anyway, this is Beth. Mum called her Beth. Isn't she cute? And thanks to Chris for her dress and her shoes. Thank you, Chris. You know who you are. Um, and she's got a little love heart button. A little clear love heart button. So I never gave her beady eyes because I didn't have any beads in. And I thought, I'm not really buying it. How much was it wanting? I mean, it was the dear for the pack of. But it was like 60 eye, eh, beads or something. And I thought, my God, I never used 60 beads. So anyway, I just put me French notes for eyes. But I need to get some of Lucas's eyes. The army eyes, but I think they're. I don't know if he's got any way enough for Mrs. Bakery Bear. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to show her. Oh, excuse me, gassy juice. So, I don't even know if you'll sit there. You sit there. No, you could slide. Excuse me, people. Yeah, co-host. <laughs> right, I'll show you a couple of things. It's going to be like nothing on the earth podcast or video blog because I haven't got anything wrote down. Because I just thought I really need to get something out or else I'm not going to do it again. And I keep saying, oh, I'll need to record today. This I was knitting a long way. Well, I wasn't knitting a long way. Ross was knitting it. For Smells Like Yarn podcast. I can't remember the name is. It's in my, I'm sure I've got it in my projects on Ravelry. I know it's done in Lakefront, Nitpicks. Nitpicks Stroll. The Tonal, I think. But anyway, it's just one of the side-to-side -side trolls, but it's lovely. I've not blocked it yet. As I say, my knitting kind of went by the, for the whole, whole of the summer. I think it's over two months since I've done a knitting, knitting podcast. Is it two months? Oh, I don't even know. But anyway, um, so that was that one. That's my bed over there, people, so. 
which I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to be moving soon and I'm going to have my bedroom and I'm going to have my craft room where I'll be sitting with my laptop and my books and all my crafty stuff and then when I want to go to sleep I'll go to a different room. So I'm looking forward to that um, and Mum's looking forward to it as well because she'll be She'll be the same, instead of living in a bedroom, she'll have the living room and she'll have her own bedroom. So anyway, this was the Fireflies Rising shawl. The last one, I thought, I had to kind of click back to see um, what, I, what I'd actually done. And that's when I noticed I hadn't actually shown Mrs Bakery Bear. And as I say, because I've not woven the ends yet, or block, and I was doing this in that long way. Oh, Mary. <whistles> Somebody's saying hello. <laughs> but anyway, so this is this. So, as I say, it's still would be blocked. But I'm going to wait till I move into my room and have my blocking wall. Uh, my craft room. And I'm going to have a wall just for blocking. Because, see this bend and other only beds and floors and things. Like, I don't have a big enough floor space. And the bending of it on the bed, it's just, no, 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 no. So the only other thing I finished, and I hadn't even started it, I only started it last week. And it's the dual tone cowl. And this is done in, two seconds, I'll tell you what it's done in. I'm going to put my eyes on. Um, cashmere Merino Silk DK Sublime. And two different... Is that the same? No. Uh, shade. I don't know if the colours. Is the colour on it? No. I don't think the colours are on it. No. Anyway, one's. The two colours are. It's, it's like a mustard. Like a dark mustard and a purple. And I put it on Instagram and it kind of washed it out a wee bit. But. Yeah, I don't care, it's lovely. I, I, as I say, it's not being blocked. It's a dual tone cowl. And it's quite autumnal looking. Well, it's for the autumn. So anyway, I'll tell you the shades. It's done in shade 0, treble 2, lot 54624. And the other one is shade 0, 2, 7, 9, and lot 67363. So that, uh, and it's, oh, it'll be so nice and it's, let see, what's the content? 75 extra merino, 20% silk, and 5% cashmere. Can you tell I love myself? <laughs> I mean, really, cashmere, silk, merino. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. So it was Wendy from that one, Heart. Part two podcast that um, was knitting it in the spring. I think she was knitting it in the spring, and I thought, oh, that's lovely. And I, it's a, I think it's a free pattern. That is a free pattern. Was it done by? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Orangefloweryarn.com Orangeflower yarn. See, everything's got orange in it at the minute. I'm, I'm loving the oranges. I love the colour. As I say, it's a free pattern, so it won't matter. But that's... Uh... Right, I just hope I'm showing you this right. And I think I'm going to have to get the blue and the grey and do myself another one in blue and grey. But I think I might do it a bit longer so I can wrap it twice. And then that will not be just a toasty toastiest. Um recommend it. As I say, it's just basic nothing in the round and changing the colours over. But yep, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh, I was gonna show you my mug, wasn't I? But I'll show you that next time. That means I need to record again to show you my mug. Um right, now I can get one more. The only thing, I'll, I'll put that in just now, the only thing I've bought in the last couple of months, 
yarn wise and I'm so bad because I've no left a review and I need to leave a review but I don't really need to say anything because it's uh, Fifi Kins Fiona and it's the Australia Solar F Flare Fibres and she's is it sun dies? so she dies white via the sun I lovingly died under the Australian sun and this is confetti silver cake I just couldn't resist it and this is um this is the Badler Badler B A L D R base and it's 75 20 and 5 so Merino Nylon and Stellina and that's actually quite good you're getting 430 yards for 100 grams this is not going to be socks. It's like a different fingering, isn't it? This is going to be ruining my face. I don't know what yet. I was thinking a, a hitchhiker. Another one. But I don't know. What do you think? Any ideas? Leave me a comment. Tell me what do you think it should become. It's definitely not going on my feet. That's just so beautiful. So, love it. That's my only yarn purchase. I was not really purchasing anything. No, no, I hadn't really been purchasing anything. But I did finish another square, so this is square number six. I say I've no over here in the Indies. And the, the, it's Vanna's choice. And that I've got number seven. On the go! Sometimes in that wee bit in the morning, so like about half, twenty past five in the morning while I'm sitting having my cuppa. Cuppa before work. I've done a couple of rows this morning. So. But I think I'll need to be ordering more yarn because my yarn's starting to kind of dwindle, 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 dwindle. Right, so that's that, 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 that. Um, what I've got on the needles, and I haven't knit net this for ages, as I say, it just... The Eiffel Tower. <laughs> This is the, the Via Jones. What is it else? That was, what's the different names that it's been? Via Jones, Via Jonte. So I basically just joined. But I ha it's, it's in this way, so that'll probably take me about 60,000 years before I get that done, and that's in the Knitwitch. Knitwitch? Hello, promote tag, no that's black horse fashion, that's the baggy, my wee fox, what's there? I got it at Willfest anyway, the, the, the first year I went, well, the first year the only year I went. <laughs> so anyway, so that's in my Kim's bag. This started in the summer there, well not in the summer, but just in the late spring and um, it's the little Liza Jane. I seen who be yeah. Who was that knit? Knit girls with three L's. Leslie. Leslie was knitting it and I thought, oh that's a lovely dress. And my daughters have both got friends that are three girls. Um, so I'm at the colours, I think kind of washes it as well, it's, looks awful, it's kind of like a navy. So I'm at the, the bodice bit, and that's in my Joanna Springs bag, and that's Knit Picks Scotland, in the planetarium colourway. And it's 70% Tanguis, Tanguis, Tanguis cotton and 30% linen. 
123 yards for 50 grams. That's all right. So I really need to go in with that, but this is going to be part of my finish it up Labour Day challenge. Yeah, finish it up Labour Day. Starts tonight, I think. Well, starts tomorrow, but so you've got to Monday or Tuesday morning, and it's in the Yoast group. Would you believe it? Hold on. Hold on, people. Hello? Hi, Ash. She's back in the room. Bye. Right, bye. I'm alright. I'm recording. Right. <laughs> right, bye. Bye. Ah, she's checking out my mother. Sorry, people. I could pause it and delete it and I can't, you know, I'm so lazy I can't even be bothered. So that's in my Joanna, uh, Joanna Springs bag. Right, what else? This is my Labour Day challenge as well. This is my Hermione's Everyday Socks. Because everybody um, and their granny or their great granny has actually knitted these and I thought to myself, I really, really should knit them. They're lovely because they're just, they're a nice wee texture. So I'm doing it for both ends of the ball and I'm doing it on my only pair of signatures. The precious, the precious. And a pair of what are they called? Carbons? So anyway. So they're really, they're about the same. Maybe a pattern or a difference. So they will be finished as well. And that's in Solstice Yarns, Autumn, autumn Sprite. So it's either got to do with Orange or Autumn or Sprite, you know. <laughs> so that's living my stocking at the zombie bag. What else am I doing for my finish it up, finish up Labour Day challenge. I've never done this challenge before. Yeah, I've got this. I'm, I'm just about to hit the heel in my stitch surfer. So, and that's on that's my Addy. Red, no red lace, my salt rockets. Well, I know called salt rockets here. Uh, lace needles. So I've got one done. So to get the last one. So the heel and the sock, the leg, and that's me. So I'm going to have a busy weekend. Knitting wise. And the only other thing I'm knitting on at the minute is and it's in my now I don't know if she does bags anymore. The silver pumpkin. I don't know. But I, I love this wee baggy. And it's get the drawstring. And you still get your hand. So the only other thing I'm doing is another sock. Because I'm crazy like that. And this is in my Peyton's Croy. And the, is it the brown marble or grey, grey marble? Blue brown marl, and that's on my knit pros. I've probably I've got loads of things on the needles, but um, and I'm doing them on the 2.25. I'd started them on 2.2, a uh, 2.5, and it was like that wide, could have fit in my head nearly. And I thought, oh, I must be such a loose knitter now. Um, so that's in the 64 and this is Laura Linneman's pattern that for the afterthought heel it's just a basic plain sock vanilla and the afterthought heel because I don't want to make it mess up the straps as I say I'm kind of right and I love browns brown and blue together is just so nice so anyway that's that let me think. Oh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there actually, people. I'm podcast galore. I'm watching podcasts like 
I had even so watching my podcast and I was catching up, having to catch up with them. I was, I just had such a dull summer and because it was too hot here, it was really quite a hot year and it's it's lovely than now. Oh aye, so I think I think I showed you this one and I can't, can't even remember what it is now. But anyway, but I got two wee mini skeins, so that's just spinning. I love that colour. I love the bit of colour coming out in that. And the other thing, um, this one, I had, excuse me, um, I had, I had, yes, where's my end? Oh, is that good? I can't find the end. Oh, there it's there. Um, it's it's quite thin. Oh. If you can see it, um, I was spinning this and it just kept breaking and fluffing and as I say I'm kind of still new at spinning. Um, this I'm going to chain ply. Or I'm going to try and chain ply. I've been watching Kim for Kim minutes doing her chain plying and she was. Uh, uh, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll just keep watching her and I'll get back better at it. So anyway, so that's lime green jelly. I can't remember the colour way. Sorry, bad podcaster. It's been a while. Forgive me, it's been a while. Um, so that's been resting. As I say, I was, start, I was spinning it and I was spinning it in the clockwise. But it just kept breaking, so I, start, I, I started, I thought, well there's got to be a way to spin this, I don't know why. And so I started spinning in the anti-clockwise way. And it, it was fine, so I'll need to remember when I'm plying it, to do it in the clockwise way. And I was doing the same with another yarn, eh, yarn fibre, and it was it was a blue face Leicester. And it just, I, I, it was the winding on or whatever you want to call it. Um, it wasn't getting into a single, it was just breaking and I thought what am I doing wrong? So I'm going to try that as well. I'm going to try taking it and spinning it in the, the opposite direction to see if that works. So if you get any clip tips or clues or, or what I'm doing wrong just holler, holler on the YouTubes and let me know. Or even in the Ravelry group. I'm still, I've still got the Sprite 966 podcast group there. It's very, very quiet, but we don't mind. So anyway, last but not least, oh, my magazine came. This is a magazine I cancelled. <laughs> I know. And it's the October 2004. And you know what, I think there's not a pattern I don't want in it in this entire magazine. So I'm glad it came. Um, I absolutely love everything in it. I just want to knit every single thing. So, um, I'm not going to do a review, but I mean, it's all stripies. But I really do, I'm, I've got to be honest, every single thing in the book, I want to knit. You know, I like, I've got loads of money. So, anyway. I think that's enough for this week. Look at the little birds. How nice are they? So anyway, um, I don't know how long this is. Um, a few minutes. I know this is, I'm not going to do a review, but look. And actually that might be, I've got a bit of yarn left for my cowl. And I might have enough to do the fingerless mitt. We'll see. Anyway, are you going to say bye, Beth? I mean, really, look. Get the magazine. Uh, knit today. So, anyway, I think that's me. Next time, I, it might be a fortnight. It might be next week. Depends on how I got on. Um, but anyway, this should be me back. So it's episode 10, so it will be like episode 1 again. And Oh, I was going to show you what I got. My daughter brought me back for holiday. Um, she bought me back my bracelet. 
because it's green and beads. How nice is that? We crosses. Back into my crosses at the minute. I love my crosses. I always did a, a new bag because I told you I'm a bag fiend. So it's. She was in Gran Canaria, by the way. So it's got a centre pocket and then it's got two outer pockets. And one of the pockets has got a pocket within the pocket. So it's like a, the greatest knitting bag in the planet as well. And plus it's black. I don't have many black bags. In fact, the two that I do have, two, I my daughter bought me. Bought me, bought me. The good old Scottish accent. I know when it's coming up for the independence crap, in it. So anyway, that will do me for just now. I'll tr try and get this uploaded and... Oh, I go watch all the podcasts. Go watch all the knitters. They're just fantastic. I was catching back up with Amy Beth. She's a squeal. Um, fluffy Kira, hello. Laura, her podcast's great. Found another one, Yan Yarnder, Yarnder woman. She's in Australia, she's got three. Um, as I say, I'm catching up with certain ones and um, it's been a while anyway. So, anyway, I shall see you in about two weeks and um, or a week, depends on how I got on running. And uh, I'll speak to you later. Bye!